In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the best sports cars to use in drag races in GTA 5 Online. A little while ago, I made a video on the best super cars to use in drag races, and you guys seem to enjoy it. And obviously, it's fairly helpful because, honestly, we all do drag races in GTA 5. It's a ton of fun, and it's even more fun if you have a car that's really good at it. So we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best sports cars to use in drag races. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the top 10 super cars to use in drag races as well down below in the description. And if you guys want to see another episode of this with another classic cars, be sure to comment it down below. Anyways, with that said, I hope you go on to enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Before we take a look at the top 10 cars, we're quickly going to go over how to do a perfect launch. If you guys already know how to do it, or if you've already seen me explain it, just forward the video just a little bit. But anyways, take a look at this launch with the Gauntlet Hellfire. You can see how much traction I lost there. It plays a huge part in drag races. You want to have a perfect launch. So now take a look at when I launch it again. I launch it perfectly. I don't lose any traction whatsoever and the car just takes off. It plays a huge part and you'll be able to win a lot more races if you could take advantage of this and learn how to do it perfectly on whichever car you want. As you guys know, this is a muscle car and if you hold the handbrake down and rev up the engine, it's going to do a wheelie. But if you do it properly, it won't. All you want to do is hold the handbrake down, barely push the gas down, and then launch. Once the car starts driving, slowly ease into the gas, your car will take off and it won't lose any traction. It's very simple, mess around with it and I'm telling you, it'll help out a lot. In 10th place, we have the ZR380. It's an amazing arena war vehicle. It has NOS and it's also pretty damn fast. I got a time of 19.95 seconds to go down this runway. And obviously this drag strip is set up for how you would use it in online. You would start at the same point and finish at the exact same point in online. So if you guys do a drag race with the ZR380, you will get a time of 19.95 seconds. And honestly, it's a pretty great car. 10th overall out of all of the sports cars in GTA 5. In 9th place, we have the Juglar, one of my favorite sports cars to use in races. It got a time of 19.84 seconds. I honestly did not expect it to do so well in this, but coming in 9th place overall is pretty great. Not only can it race really well down a drag strip, but its handling is amazing. If you ever have to do a sports race where you have to go off-road, this car will absolutely slap, and I always win those kinds of races, but the car is honestly pretty amazing, finishing 9th overall. In 8th place, we have the Calico GTF. It got a time of 19.83 seconds to go down this drag strip. Now, of course, this is not using the lowered suspension mod on it that you could have, and it's also not using low grip tires. We know if you put it on, it will slap, but this is if you use the car normally, because if you put those low grip tires on or you put it in lowered mode, it's going to be really hard to handle. But obviously, you'll do a lot better in drag races if you do use that, and it'll probably beat out every other car. But if you use it normally, it'll finish 8th overall out of all the sports cars in the game. In 7th place, we have the Shalijin GT. It got a time of 19.68 seconds. This is definitely one of my favorite cars to use in GTA 5. It looks awesome, it looks very realistic to the AMG GT in real life, and honestly, it's a pretty good car to race with. Not even just drag racing, but street racing as well. It handles really well and it finishes 7th overall out of all of the sports cars in the game in terms of drag racing. By the way, be sure to check out Digazani. They'll hook you up with tons of discounted games and in-game currency for dozens of your favorite games, like GTA 5, Fortnite, and many more. Don't forget to use code FROLICS at checkout for a 10% discount. In 6th place, we have the NEO. It got a time of 19.26 seconds, which is pretty great. That's a pretty sizable gap between 6th and 7th place. I honestly forgot about this car, but it's pretty nice, and it honestly feels like a supercar when I'm driving it around, and it's also all-wheel drive, which I noticed at the very end of this drag race because it honestly handles pretty damn well as well. Finishing in 6th place overall, the car is honestly not too bad. In 5th place, we have the Itali GTO, which got a time of 19.07 seconds. You guys already know, this is one of the best sports cars to use in GTA 5 for racing, and obviously, it's such a great car to use in races, it would most likely be good at drag racing, which it is, which is why it's 5th overall out of all the sports cars. It has a great top speed, great handling, great acceleration, it's a perfect car. It's just a little bit pricey, but it still finishes 5th overall. In 4th place, we have the Itali RSX, which got a time of 19 0.05 seconds, just 0 0.02 seconds faster than the Itali GTO. They're practically the exact same car. The only difference is the RSX is much more expensive, and honestly, I kind of like it just a little bit more. It's a pretty amazing car. It's just like the GTO in every way. It's outstanding. It's just a little more expensive and a little bit faster in terms of drag races. Just before we take a look at the top three, let's take a look at two of our honorable mentions here. The Sultan RS Classic finishing in 12th place with a time of 20.03 seconds. You guys are 
already know from the LS Tuners update, the Sultan RS Classic and the Calico GTF have the fastest quarter mile time, so it was just barely edged out. It's still a great car, has some cool customizations as well. I honestly love it, and it finished in 12th place overall. In 11th place, we had the Flash GT, which got a time of 20.01 seconds, which is pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. Just barely edged out by literally 0 0.06 seconds, which is insane. Honestly, you never see this car driving around, barely anybody uses it, but in terms of drag races, it's actually pretty good, and if you perfectly launch it, you could be competing with some of the best cars in GTA 5. In third place, we have the Coil Raiden. It got a time of 19 seconds on the dot. As you guys know, with electric cars, if you hold down the accelerator and the handbrake when you're about to launch, it'll start doing a burnout, and it'll give them a huge speed boost, and they will launch as fast as they can up to their top speed, which this car did. Just like the Cyclone, electric cars are honestly great when it comes to drag races, as long as the drag track isn't super long. But the Raiden finishes third overall. In second place, we have the Pariah, which got a time of 18.74 seconds. I bet you didn't expect to see this thing here. You thought it would be in first. Well, it isn't for one reason, and one reason only. Its launch is not the best. It loses so much traction, but once it gains that traction, it takes off. If you could perfectly launch it, it'll beat out every other car, guaranteed, because it's extremely fast. It's honestly an amazing car. Handling's not the best though, but when it takes off, it takes off. In first place, we have the Neon with a time of 18.68 seconds, which is amazing. And I know some of you are probably like, how the hell is that even possible? Well, like I said, it's because it's electric. When you hold the handbrake down and the accelerator, the cars will just take off. Obviously, it does the same thing with regular cars too. Most of you guys will probably do the same thing with a car with a combustion engine, so you can get a little bit of a boost at the start. You do the same thing with electric cars and you get a much bigger boost, which is a lot more significant. But the Neon comes in first place out of all the supercars in GTA 5, beating out the Pariah by just under 0.1 seconds, which is pretty amazing. Now, obviously, if you guys took some of the LS Tuner cars to a drag race, you threw low grip tires on them and everything, they will take off. They're some of the fastest vehicles in the game now. I've seen them race planes and absolutely destroy them, which is just insane. So obviously, if you guys do something like that, the outcomes will be completely different. But right now, we're just talking about normal vehicles in drag races at the airport. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see another episode of this, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to take a look down below in the description if you guys want to take a look at that video I did on the best supercars to use in drag races. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.